What you're about to see is an individual talking about being forced to give up DNA in order to receive health insurance. We have provided this individual with anonymity. I'm here today to talk about changes in policies of the company I work for that are forcing me to have to give a DNA sample in order to get health insurance. The company introduced a program which was initially a voluntary program where employees could participate in giving a blood sample which would be tested for various components including cholesterol and other things and in by giving your blood sample and being willing to do so you would get a discount on your monthly health care costs. It was initially a voluntary program this year, it turned into a necessity for you to actually give a blood sample and have this testing done in order for you to get medical insurance. Without participating in the program, you'd have no healthcare coverage. The screening consists of, uh, first of all, there's a health risk assessment that you need to complete online. And this asks you about uh, your current behaviours, whether you smoke, whether you exercise, what's your diet, and based on your results, it will give you a summary of the risks that it believes that you may have. The second part consists of taking a sample of your blood and analysing it for certain components, and also in addition, um, your waist is measured, your weight is taken, your height is measured in order to calculate where you fall on the, the body mass index scale. In addition, your blood pressure is taken uh, on both arms. Before the, any of the blood samples could be taken, you had to sign a consent form, which released both the labs that would do the testing and the company from any liability. It briefly outlined some of the areas that they would be looking for in that blood sample. And this included looking for cholesterol levels, triglycerides, glucose, and cancer markers. It was pretty clear from that moment to me that this is genetic testing and that there is a real risk that this information could be used in an inappropriate way. I felt at the time that maybe this wasn't a good thing to do. And at the same time, recognized that I can't be without health insurance. I knew that although I had a choice, I felt like I had no choice at all and therefore proceeded with the testing. The moment that you're being forced to do something, it opens up the possibilities of what is that information going to be used for. There's always the possibility that anything can be used for good, but the moment you tell someone they have to do it in order to get something, it tells me that it's most likely that the information is going to be used for other purposes. Because they have taken a blood sample, they can use this blood sample at any time to test for any gen genetic markers that they choose to. This could continue for some time without my knowledge, simply because it was listed on the form that I signed. There was also the possibility that this information enabled companies to target individuals, which would result in them potentially either being refused health insurance or at a minimum potentially being priced out of the marketplace because of the results of these tests. Some of the information that can be obtained from these tests may actually point towards conditions that a person may not have, but potentially could have in the future. So-called genetic markers 
may be a sign of the possibilities that somebody might actually have a great, greater probability of getting a certain condition. But any idea of trying to prevent somebody receiving health insurance because of that possibility would be totally wrong and misleading. It reminds me very much of the Second World War and what Nazi scientists were trying to do in building their idea of the perfect race by eliminating those people who are less desirable. There is risk when we go down this path that we are trying to do the same thing and to create a someone's certain belief of what a perfect race is. And if you don't fit the stereotype, you won't have the right to any services and potentially won't have the right to exist at all. I feel that any organization that forces any person to have to release DNA information in order to receive common services for the human good, that this is wrong. I am all for encouraging people to live healthy lives and to offer ways to support people in those processes. It is wrong, however, to force people to do things, to have testing done, to give up their DNA in order to receive any healthcare services. People are a little bit more go along with the crowd, be part of the herd. And I think part of that is driven by the continuing use of, as, of fear as a weapon against people very subtly in the media, in politics. And because it's there, it's used to say to people, hey, you know, yep, you've got to do this. And do I really want to challenge that? Do I want to put my job at risk in an economy that's terrible? Is this something I can win if I start asking the right questions? for the right people? I don't think so. There's too much of a risk there for everyone concerned. Companies don't need to find reasons to let people go. They don't even really need to invent them. This puts an immense burden on all of us if we feel we're being treated inappropriately. So from my perspective, it's not something I ever feel I could pursue in perhaps the way it should be pursued, openly and with honesty and transparently. Those things would be very nice to do, and it would be nice to think that we could sit down and have those types of conversations without fear of repercussions. I don't believe any company is forcing anybody to have genetic markers tested on their blood is sending any kind of message that they are open to doing that. Completely the opposite is the message that I receive and I need to be an employee who goes along with it, who continues to do their job and does not question the rights that I feel I have and how they're being violated.